What up, it's Snooze. Hi, I'm back again with another brush pack for Procreate. This time it's the Gritty Pack and it is all about gritty and grungy brushes. While my last sets have been more focused on effects like 3D and glowing brushes, this one is all about textures again. Alright, let's take a quick look at the content. We have the brush pack with 32 brushes in total divided into 9 different categories. Aside from that, this pack also features 12 different alphabet worksheets in various styles. We got 12 color palettes to get you started, 6 different backgrounds in different colors, and as always a comprehensive manual guiding you through the brushes and giving some tips and tricks. And if you rather watch than read, you can check out the included video guide in this pack. All you need to do is to sign up or log in to access the content. And this time, as a little bonus, I got Jimbo on board and you can follow his process with these brushes as well. And we have one last thing, the five step-by-step -step artworks where I guide you through my process and which I meant to give you some examples what you can do with the brushes. Before we dive into the brushes, I want to highlight three main features of this pack. First up, you can adjust the grain size on all the brushes since they are using a seamless texture. You can do this by tapping on the brush to open the brush studio and go to grain and adjust the slider on the scale. The second feature is that you can adjust the intensity of the pattern. All you need to do for this is to change the opacity of the brush. If you go down with opacity, you get less of a full stroke and more of a fine pattern. And for the third feature, you can use this then to expand the pattern. So go down with opacity and go over your strokes again to yeah, expand the pattern. It also looks quite nice if you are using different colors. So let's finally take a look at the brushes. And in the first category, we got the basics brushes, which give you this typical grungy kind of texture with less sharp edges and more of a liquid character. I made three of those. The first one was the round basics, and here we have the basics mono. And last but not least, we have the basics broad with a broad tip. If you lower the opacity on the basics brushes, you can see we get a much more rougher texture and the stroke gets thinner and thinner. Alright, let's move on to the second category, the grunge brushes. Here we have the grunge rounds. And with these brushes you can get different textures with different levels of pressure. All in all, this brush category features four grungy brushes with this light distress texture to them. And just as we had in the first category, we have here as well round tips and raw tips. If you lower the opacity on the grunge brushes, you can see the texture gets rougher and the strokes get thinner. Next up we have the ripple category, which I'm personally pretty excited about. You can see that they have this classic ripple effect to them. And in this category are different versions of this effect. First up we have a pretty dense texture, the next one is the ripple rough with a bit more rough texture. And then we have the ripple left with mirrored ripple like texture, so we can use it in the other direction as well. If you lower the opacity on the ripple brushes, you can see that the texture gets less intense, we get a more fine texture and less of a stroke. Moving on with the waves brushes, another exciting effect and also featuring four different brushes. The first one has this repeating radiant like texture to it and the second one is building up on this previous brush with more texture inside the brush. And then we have probably one of my favorites, the waves wavy brush with this yeah, wavy texture to it. And clothing this category with the waves print brush which has this fingerprint-like texture. And similar to the ripple brushes, if you lower the opacity on the base brushes, you get more of the texture and less of a full color stroke. You can use this to expand the pattern of the brush, or for example, adding colors into the background to create like a gradient or something. Next up, we have the halftone brushes, 
and again this category features four different brushes starting with the classic broad tip half tone brush and building up on that the half tone big brush with a bigger half tone texture next up is the half tone side a broad tip brush with this fading half tone effect on one side and the first brush is the half tone round a simple round tip brush with the half tone effect If you lower the opacity on the halftone brushes, you can see that these dots get smaller and smaller, giving you a much more finer texture. You can use this technique, for example, to lay over different colors to create gradients or just to add extra details into your work. Next, we have a bit more smaller category for a change, the Grammy brushes, starting with the Grammy brush. And this pressure sensitive brush has a very rough and raw texture with these paint spatters all around it. And the second brush is the grimy venom brush. This water brush has this venom or lightning like texture to it. Moving on with the brush <laughs> brushes. The first one is the brush brush. Yeah, I got quite creative with the names there. You can see it's a pressure sensitive brush tip with a light texture and a hard sharp taper to it. Following up on this brush is the brush texture. And with this brush you get those nice rough strokes. And the last one of this category is the brush paint brush. And this one gives you this quite unique texture with those rough lines at the edges of the brush. The liner brushes are great for adding details, for example adding fine lines or by adding some extra texture like this fence brush into your artwork. The grain brushes were quite similar to the previous brushes I've just showed you. You can see that you get thicker spatters or thicker halftone effects if you go over the strokes again or apply more pressure. Alright, that's it with the walkthrough. I hope this could give you a good insight into the brushes and into the content of this pack. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts on this and have a good one.